Shalom. Alright, I'm making a video about vampires, vampires, cannibalism, and bestiality. Well, I'm not going to cover bestiality in this video too much, but I want to talk about vampires because most people have no idea where the origin or concept of vampires comes from. I know there's TV shows, books, and even movies about vampires, cannibals, and all those gory movies. But most people, when they read the scriptures, the Bible, they can't seem to find these things in scripture because it is veiled from them for the most part. Now, I know some of you watching this video are aware of these verses that I'm about to show you from the book of Enoch in the Bible. But for those that aren't aware of them, Maybe this should uh, help connect the dots of where all these TV shows, movies, books, etc. about vampires are coming from. Alright, so let's jump right into it. Okay, here's the book of Enoch. You can read it online. Alright, and let's take a look at chapter, chapter 7. Alright, this is the book of Enoch, chapter 7, and if you take a look at verse 5, it talks about cannibalism and vampirism. Alright, I'm going to read it. Here's what it says. Verse 5, chapter 7 of the book of Enoch says that they, the giants, if you go up a few verses, it talks about the giants, how the human women, when they united with the angels, angel and human women produced vampires or cannibals. And not only that, but they produced giant cannibals slash vampires. Some of them were over 400 feet tall. Can you believe that? As it says here. Their height was 3,000 L's. Look it up. You'll see that some of them were ridiculously tall. And also keep in mind that back in the days, our ancestors were much taller than we are now. But nowhere near as tall as these giants were. Anyways, back to verse 5. Alright, so here's verse 5. And it says that they... The giants, the sons of the angels and the human women, they began to sin against birds, against beasts, reptiles, and fish, and they began to devour one another's flesh. There is your cannibalism, the devouring of flesh. Remember, this is before the flood, before Noah was allowed to eat flesh. Noah and his sons weren't given the animals for food, they, they were only allowed to eat plants, vegetables, fruits. So these giants were the first carnivores. So not only that, they were the first cannibals as well. They were eating people's flesh as well as the animal's flesh. And they were drinking blood. There's your vampirism. So it is in scripture. Most people talk about, oh, the reptilians, oh, vampires. Well, vampires, they come from the scriptures. But of course, they're not going to tell you that because they want to keep you further, as far away from God as possible. They don't want you to believe in Yasha and the, the Most High, Ahaya. So, of course, they're going to sweep all this stuff under the rug. Why do you think they consider the book of Enoch uh, non-biblical, non-scriptural, non-inspired? Because it exposes who these beings are. So yeah, these giant freaks, these evil spirits that now roam the earth, some of them, not all of them, some of them, or most of them are locked up in hell right now. Uh, well, these individuals were the first carnivores, the first cannibals, as it says here, they were eating flesh, and they were drinking blood, so they are the first vampires as well. And it says here in verse 6 that the earth laid accusation against the lawless ones. So it was it's talking about the giants. And actually it even goes further back than that. Believe it or not. Vampirism 
or cannibalism. It goes even a little further back than uh, Genesis chapter 6 or during the time of Noah and some of the patriarchs that were before him. Alright, so this is the book of Genesis chapter 3 from the Canon Bible. Now I'm going to skip down to verse, let's see here, verse 14, here it is. Verse 14, this is the Heavenly Father talking to the serpent. Alright, it says that the Most High, Ahaya, said to the serpent, because you've done this, you are cursed above all domestic animals and above every wild living thing of the field. Pay attention. Use discernment. And then the Father says that upon your belly you shall go. Hmm. And what else does it say? And it says that dust shall you eat. And what it contains all the days of your life. Okay, now, who was made of dust? Man was, right? Adam? So what is this verse talking about? The Heavenly Father is telling the serpent, On your belly you shall go. Meaning, you're going to follow your belly. What is one of the desires of the belly? To feed itself, right? You get hungry? You want to put some food in you? That's what it means. On your belly you shall go. By the desires of your belly you shall go. And what else? We just read it. It says, And you shall eat dust. Remember, Adam was made of dust. You shall eat dust and what it contains. What does it contain? Flesh and blood. That is the body that Adam acquired when he fell. He was no longer in his spiritual body, so to speak, or in his higher state. So once he fell, he was transformed into flesh and blood. So the serpent was, t was uh, cursed to eat dust and what it contains, which is flesh and blood, all the days of its life. So it's the Heavenly Father who put the curse on the serpent for it to, to eat uh, humans, basically. To eat humans, to eat blood, to drink blood. So there's your vampirism. There's your cannibalism. Otherwise, you know, we've all been holding hands, singing Kumbaya, but the Heavenly Father put the enmity, as it says here in verse 15. I will put enmity between... You and the woman, between these vampiric cannibal offspring of the serpent and the normal human's offspring of the woman. Alright? So it tells you right here in the Bible. And this is before even the fallen angels uh, came to earth during the times of Jared and Noah. So it was well in effect. Vampirism, cannibalism. So it's the Heavenly Father who cursed the serpent to eat us, to put a division between us. There's your enmity right here. I know most people, they read this verse, it goes over their head. But it's true. So I just wanted to share that. Because, like I said, you see Hollywood putting out all these movies about vampires, demons, etc., you know, and these demons or vampires, they drink blood or eat humans. And you're like, what's this all about? Where is, where is this coming from? It's folklore, but it's real. And like I said, it goes back to Genesis 3.14. And as I just read in the book of Enoch. So I guess you can say that the first cannibal and vampire is a serpent. It needs blood to stay healthy or active, I guess. It needs to eat humans, so to speak. So the Heavenly Father is the one that put this division and this curse on the serpent. The serpent just didn't acquire and went crazy, you know, and started, hey, let me just go eat humans. No, it's a curse. 
to make sure that <laughs> that the serpent and humans don't have anything to do with each other. Or at least the wise humans wouldn't get too close to the serpent because it can't offer you anything. So, anyways, that's all I have for this video. Until next time, shalom.